Game Prometheus giving you another full game recap. Once again, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button uh, and uh, no, that notification icon so you can get my uploads. I'm uh, going to be rolling again with the Raiders playbook on offense defense, and this is my opponent's uh, draft championship team. He's got really good cards. Obviously, I've got Thielen, Olsen, and Drew Brees, uh, mostly offense. Um, basically, on defense, I'm going to roll out. I, I want to go ahead and try testing uh, this big of the defense in the first series. It's basically an engage eight uh, pl play right there. And I get, uh, he actually throws a nice dot. He throws it right up the seam, but I get some good animation with my, my defenders and actually put them in a, in a second and ten situation. He roll, he's rolling with a, a Bettis card. He is able to go ahead and take the ball up. Gets a third and seven situation right here and actually dots me on the sideline with a nice little out route. Did a really good read. Defenders couldn't get out there and play that. I was actually playing some seam flats. And he made a really good read. So, first and ten situation, still staying with the safety, uh, the safety blitz defense. And actually, he sees the press, and he pops me right over top and gets the ball down uh, in the red zone. Once again, really good read. This guy knows what he's doing. He goes into the ace formation, and I'm, I'm playing this uh, safety blitz right here. Does a nice little inside run right here, and Bettis falls forward for a thousand yards right there. I think he almost fell right into the end zone. Actually, comes right back to the play again and just stumbles right into the red zone so um, he's showing that he can run the ball and he's patient enough to run it uh, and it's I've got a game on so I'm in I actually do this draw this is like a pump draw uh, screen uh, a draw play it's one of my favorite plays uh, for the running plays especially guys that run a lot of zone because most players are running a lot of zone but what he does is he makes this minor adjustment against the pump draw and he actually closes up his defensive line and that basically shuts down my run for the rest of the game so right here is one of the rare op rare situations where I take off my quarterback he had the play completely locked up so I take off with Drew Brees I'm able to go and pick up first down try to go and pop him right over the middle my wide my tight end was wide open but the ball sails and falls right into the hands of his, de his defensive back, and he's able to go ahead, nice little spin move right there, and actually take it up to the 50, to the 40, see if he spins once again, I actually kind of fall back, and he gets it down to the 30-yard line with an interception. So down by seven. In this type of situation, I go ahead and I think I'm using the engage H blitz right here. Then I go and jump into just a, a cover two, which is the over. And actually, I didn't I didn't pass commit, and I, I could have sacked him, but he actually goes ahead and hits me right over the middle, right in front of my user. So once again, going with the saw blitz, I've got basically um, zones out there, cloud zones, and I didn't like that look, so I want to switch to put in a cover three type situation. Uh, and I've got a uh, flat, I got uh, basically a couple hook zones right there and I actually used with the guy over the middle because he's in the red zone, he really can't beat me deep. And right now I send the spy after him and he throws it right into me and I do not come down with the ball right there. So bad situation for me, I think I'm going once again, I'm going with a cover two blitz. I got my line shade, shaded off, I got a good pressure off the edge and I'm going to go sack him and get him in a third and long situation. So I'm just thinking all out zones, I go ahead and jump into a different defense. This is the, the the 3-3 three, three odd uh, defense or uh, basically right there and actually uh, he throws into flat and I'm able to go ahead and stop him for three so down 10 nothing in the first quarter this is not a way that you want to start a game but I am getting the ball in the second half so if I can go ahead get a score here get seven points on the board and uh, hopefully milk the clock I'll be in a pretty good situation so back into the Raiders split a uh, split black I'm going to go ahead, I've got a fly route up, and I've also got the deep comeback route right here. And I throw the ball a little bit early, but I get a good animation right there to go and get a first down. So going into Salem, this is where I threw the interception the last time, and uh, he crunches up his line. I go ahead and try to go and hit the ball down to the flat, get a nice little animation to pick up a uh, four-yard gainer right there. Go into uh, the, the Jet 6 soar. I've got uh, basically streak and a, and a comeback rock on the back end side. Looking at the comeback route, and it actually threw the ball early, 
and he picks me off again. I'm down 10 to nothing. I'm giving the ball right back to him down in the 35-yard line. And this is when you start having these thoughts. You're thinking, man, I am not going to win this game. This is not looking good for me. i got everything going against me. I've got balls sailing all over the place, throwing to areas that should be wide open. And actually, this guy's throwing dots like this and holding on to it. My guys are, are overthrowing balls. I'm in some serious trouble. So I think I set up the cover two blitz again. He actually picks it up, but he throws into my user. And I'm able to go ahead and get past one of his defenders. This guy, I think he's got 88 speed. I'm actually just running passes to best his wide receivers. Wide receivers gets a really good angle right there and tackles me down on the two-yard line. So from a situation where he could be up 17 to nothing, I get the ball with an interception down in the red zone, take it down to his red end zone. Uh, and I'm, I'm trying to go ahead and punch it in. So nice little inside zone, and I jump into one of my my my, my no little money plays right here. It's a little dig route on the inside with the tight end, able to go and get the score down by three points. So 10 to, uh, 10 to seven right now. Two minutes, uh, a little bit over uh, three minutes left. Uh, I go ahead and, and jump down into the hole, but he actually carries me. Bet it's the bus. I jump on the bus and take a little ride for six yards right there, back into uh, the three three. Uh, defense here, nickel 3-3, um, and basically does a nice little draw play. Look at that play. That was just a good call. Uh, picks up some pretty good yards with the bus. He do go no huddles me again. I crushed down my line. I blitz both sides of my linebackers, and actually was setting me up for a play-action play, but I get some pressure in his face and get him in a second and 15 situation. So now I go back into uh, this uh, blitz right here. I actually have a hook zone, and it throws off his reads a little bit. He doesn't see it, so I actually get him in a third and 12 situation. Now I go into a man blitz right here. In this type of situation, I'm sending six. Uh, so, And I'm also hovering right over the middle of the center right here. And I'm just uh, basically just trying to look for a read. I get nice animation, but he... I get a good swap, a swat, swat animation with the man coverage, and in a fourth and 20, 21, he's forced to punt the ball off with a minute and 30 seconds left. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this type of situation that I've gotten two stops against him now after I've given him given the ball like three different times. So this is a good situation to be in. So uh, he was playing a weird defense. I almost threw an interception right there. Um, the defense played a little bit goofy. You know, the one thing I didn't like about and playing draft champions is that you don't see the play are. So wondering what this guy's defense was because his defensive players were just playing different. They weren't playing usual type of coverages, uh, and they were playing down. They were biting different types of routes, and it just wasn't usual. So I'm, I'm somewhat intrigued on in what type of coverage this guy's doing. But what he did is he squ squunched that line right up. Uh, that would take away um, any kind of runs or, or draw plays. Right here, I'm actually going to hit him with a with a uh, with a post route uh, with the um, uh, halfback shark wheel and I come back into basically Mills concept and he gets nice little pressure right here to go and sack me and go ahead and no huddle again second and 19 situation go back to Mills again um, this particular route I've got a crossing route I block my running back just to give myself a little bit more time and right here I throw it just a bad pass. It was just a bad, bad, bad pass. So third and 19 situation. I'm going to go to my money play when I need yardage. And this is this double post play right here. Uh, I, I don't think I set it up correctly. I should have went ahead. Well, I had a drag route going over the middle. Uh, but I'm, I'm looking for uh, basically the red route. And you can see right there, I get the animation, and I break a tackle to get the ball down there by the 43-yard line, take a timeout to go ahead and preserve my clock because I got a big victory right there by converting that big third and long type of situation. So it's a big money play for me right there. So looking underneath right here, and I take a shot up top, and uh, it, it looked initially like it was covered, and I'll be honest with you guys, I, missed the, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button on the last play, and I got a touchdown out of it. So... Sometimes you can hit the wrong button and get a touchdown. I'll take it. So uh, put some coverage right here. He actually just waits patiently in, this, in the pocket and actually drops it on the sideline and picks up some good yards. So I get stupid. I use a mid, mid blitz against this guy. Anybody that knows what they're doing in the game has seen mid, mid blitz before. And watch this guy right here just chew it up. Uh, I got pressure coming in, but he just lobs it right over my defenders and gets the ball right down on the two-yard line. Takes a timeout. He's got one timeout left. Um, I'm, I'm expecting he's going to run. He's got an option to run right here, so he does go ahead and take the bus, but I'm actually going to stop him 
down on the one yard line and he goes back into a goal line type of situation. He's got no timeouts, so this is the kind of situation where he has to get the ball in. He does a little pitch play, but I, f I did not put that defensive back in a flat, and actually he fell back, and I don't get a, I don't get a bite on the zone. So he's able to go up 17 to 14. I'm getting the ball right now. I got it in the second half. Feeling pretty good about myself. Go into Salem. I'm looking for the crosser right over the middle of the field, and right there I get lucky because that defensive back came down, was biting on that play, but I get the play art and the animation to be able to get it over. So once again, he's scrunched up. He's, he's putting eight guys in the box. He's essentially taking away my run because of the way his defensive line was playing right here. But I check it down to the running back. I get some pretty good animation to go ahead and pick up. Uh, a few yards, so a, a second and three. Go into the um, uh, 26 or the, the jet soar, and actually wait a little bit longer with that particular play. So the other time, the, the one time I got picked off, I just rushed the pass. I just waited just a little bit longer to make sure I got the animation before they got to come back. So right here, I go into a smash play. I get a seal, but he gets a nice little block shed uh, with the blocking. I should have picked up some more yards with that. Now I go into uh, just the basically the, the angle smash. I've got a slant on the backhand side. I'm looking at the angle rod on the backhand side. I'll wait for him to go bite for the, uh, for the slash. But everything was locked up except for that out route, and I ended up throwing the ball away and getting away, uh, getting away with it. So third and eight situation right here. I'm going into a play that I like to use down in the red zone. I had to snap the ball early. I like to take that wide receiver on the back and side, but he never covers the money route uh, with uh, with that particular play, and I'm able to go ahead and get the ball into the red zone, up 21-17, to 17, minute and 50 seconds left in the third quarter. So need to get a stop here. I need to milk the clock, and actually, sure enough, he starts running the ball. I'm using basically the double safety blasts and actually get a nice little block shed to go ahead and sack him for a third and 14 situation. So right here I send the house after him, and once again, this guy's a good player. He catches me with press coverage and takes me right over the top with a nice, like, with a nice bomb and takes the ball down to the 43-yard line. So this guy was a really good player. He saw the press. He, he used the press uh, and made really good plays and good decisions. So right here, I got the defender in the area. He goes wide. I'm able to go to, and, and tackle him for just a two-yard gainer. And go ahead, stay in the safety blitz. It seemed like he was having some problems with it. I decided to go with hard flats right here to go ahead and get some guys out in the flats. And he's actually, he's in slants, and he throws into my yellow zone, and my defensive back is able to come down and make a play for it. So, in this situation, I just need to milk the clock, milk the clock. So, I'm going to run the ball, even though he's been, he's he essentially has shut down my run the entire game. Try to go ahead, identify a mic so I can get some better blocking. But look at these guys. They're just shooting through the gaps, shooting through my offensive line because it is poor. So I only have two offensive linemen that actually that I selected. I'm going to go in, jump into a screen play, and I'm going to be looking to the table right off to the right. And sure enough, it is wide open. I'm able to go ahead and take that up for a, a few yards uh, and get a third and five situation. Then I go into curls out of the split back formation. And I'm looking at Ingram. I got the deep comeback route on the back and side with Ridley, and I've also got the little uh, the little wing route. And the comeback route is wide open. He actually th dropped the guy in his zone. There was a, or in a spy. Um, and basically just takes his guys completely out of the position, and I'm able to go and hit him uh, in, on the sideline. So once again, back with a run again. He shuts it down. I'm still marking the clock as much as possible. Second and 12 situation, go back to my money play when I need to get a first down. And right here, uh, nobody falls into flat, so I'm just going to dump it down to uh, my tight end right there, and I get myself a situation where it's a third and one type of situation. So here's a play I didn't run the entire game, which is basically um, a, a power run. Pulling guard, I'm going to go ahead and get a first down off that because the guard actually sealed the block off. So first and ten situation, the two minutes and, tw and uh, basically two minutes left. Try to hit him on the outside. I get a, actually really good animation to get it down to the two-minute warning. He takes a, a timeout quick early, uh, early. And this is the type of situation where all I really need is a first down, and this game's going to be pretty much over with. So I go with the wheel route right here, and I'm able to go ahead and hit the running back. And I believe right here I get a first down, and now I'm just basically chewing the clock. So two-minute warning. He's got one timeout. I'm still up by, by four points. I can get a, a three points and get, uh, get seven. Come right back, uh, halfback angle route. He doesn't follow it. He chases it. I go ahead, drop it down to, to wide receiver right there. He takes his final timeout. Minute and 24 seconds left. 
go back in the wheel, uh, the halfback shark wheel, and I streaked up my tight end. I just felt like I needed to streak him up, and sure enough, nobody was in the area. Wide open. So I'm up by 11 points against my opponent, and that's basically it. He checked out. So able to go and pick up another victory with this uh, Raiders playbook. Once again, guys, I really appreciate your support, and until next time.